All right, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is Simplistic and welcome back to another video. Throughout my YouTube career, I've had a lot of ups and downs. No matter what, I've always been able to stay positive and grind as hard as I possibly could. I've been able to connect and collab with tons of different creators over the years. And a lot of them being my biggest inspirations. It really is a blessing. But the one that comes to mind the most has to be my boy. Faze Rug. From me starting off working as his cameraman five years ago all the way till now, we've become insanely close. He's not only my best friend, but I consider him as a brother. We've taught each other a lot of valuable life lessons as well as tips to become better creators. It is only looking up for us for all that we have planned in the near future, but sadly, that all comes to an end right now. Recently, he hasn't been on my channel for a reason. I purposely have been dodging to make content for him because I have a master plan. Today, I'll be officially ending our friendship and work relationship in the harshest way possible. To ensure that I have this be 100% believable, day by day, I began to drop hints leading up to the finale. I'm about to dial up my dog and just kind of let him know that things haven't been great lately. This is absolutely crucial because we're setting the tone and things can only get worse from here. I would FaceTime him, but I just don't want him to see my face because I feel like I'm gonna laugh. Hey, what up, gang? How you doing, bro? Chilling, chilling, brother. What you up to? Uh, kind of just at home. Five minutes? Uh, kind of. I'm just, uh, just wanted to tap in, see, like, uh, how your day's been going, just, like, see what's up. I want to sound really yeah, sad. No, bro, I'm just, I'm just chilling. Is everything good though? You seem kind of down, brother. I'm good. Um, we can get into my stuff after, but what's going on with you? Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just chilling. I was, uh, I was just watching some YouTube videos and getting ready for the video tomorrow. I wanted to give you a call because I know like talking to friends helps like the situation always. So. Wait, what have you been in your head about? Like. YouTube, personal life? Kind of, just both, bro. Mixture of both. I feel like my personal life like could be a little bit better. I could be doing a, a lot more with my time, maybe getting a little healthy, hitting the gym and stuff, but like also yeah. visiting my family a lot more and stuff. You know, ever since I moved down here, it's been kind of hard, but overall too, you know, like um, with YouTube, it's been kind of hard with ideas, but on top of that, just kind of like finding uh, the balance between them both. And I'm just kind of like, you know, weighing out what I, uh, what I want to do next. I was gonna say it's all about balance too, like just setting time aside for important things. So if you just find that balance, like I think it's good. That's yeah, true. but you already know I'm always here, but if you wanna, you're, you're like 20 minutes away now, if you wanna come hoop, work out, hit the sauna, like we talked about joining um, the boxing thing. Oh yeah. Like bro, if we just like occupy ourselves with that and then like, you know, just maybe like two, three times a week, I think that'll, that'll help. No, for sure. I'm, I'm definitely down to the, just try anything at this point. I feel like, uh, you know, the more we do, it, it'll be easier. So, um, no, I'll, I'll, I'll push through for sure, but. If you need, like, I mean, obviously, bro, if you need, like, time off or anything, like, just let me know. I might have some cool stuff planned in the next, like, week or so. So, I'll, I'll let you know if it's for sure. But for now, bro, I appreciate the call. I, I, I thank you a lot. What do you mean cool plans, though? Like, with, like, a trip? Maybe. It's in the works, but uh, I don't want to confirm anything just yet. Okay, okay. Yeah, bro, I mean, just let me know, like, even just, like, a few days in advance. And, like, obviously, like, I'm chilling as long as, like, you're taking care of yourself. I'm gonna get back to it, bro. I appreciate it. Have a, have a good rest of your day. Let me know if you need anything. <laughs> Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, bro. The whole time, first of all, W friend. Bro really cares about my mental and physical health. But midway, I kind of had an idea spark in my brain. What if I kind of teased that I was leaving to go work with another YouTuber? And I think the only one that makes the most sense, the biggest on the platform, my boy Jimmy, Mr. Beast. And to make it even more terrible, I'm not gonna tell him when I'm gonna go. And when I do tell him, it's gonna be like a day before. So he has no time to plan. I'm gonna leave him without a cameraman. Bro, I think for the video today, we should go towards like the beach or like the mall or something and do like just some giveaway stuff. Yeah, or, like just like a more uh, crowded area. Exactly. With a lot yeah. of people and stuff. No, and just good. like different creative ways of giving back. I think that'd be fire. I was thinking like if we do trivia, maybe some like. Um, like a. I don't know. I just try to think of what I see, like a don't talk in the mic type thing. Oh, those are fire. If you do like a double it and give it to the next person, but don't talk in the mic. Yeah. Combination. I'm lucky hungry. Dude, you know what sounds fire? Huh? Seafood boil. Oh, Bro, I haven't please. had that in forever. Please, dude, that so far, the only thing is it's pricey. If you want to get a solid meal, I would say it's like At least 100 bucks. Yeah, like I like king crab though, and that's where it gets expensive. I do the head off shrimp. Oh, wait, you can, you can take the head off? Yeah. Okay, we're doing that 100%. You can do head on or head off? 
I've never done that. That's crazy. But yeah, bro, like, how's everything been, though? Like, after we've talked... It was decent. Like, I was just kind of, like, realizing what I want for my future. You know what I mean? Like, of just kind of, like, thinking about stuff. That's like, always a good thing to always consider. Yeah, especially, like, because I noticed myself kind of feeling off. Luckily, I got, like, a, a good opportunity, like, to uh, travel. So really? I might do that soon. Yeah, it's uh, to North Carolina. Travel like for fun? Or no, no, like for like business and stuff. Like uh, okay. I was gonna go out there. Uh, a couple projects got presented to me, so I was thinking like if I go out there, switch it up, maybe uh, maybe try something out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it could be cool. Wait, but what? Like what kind of opportunities? Like Except, for your videos? No, no, not even for myself. You're bro. filming. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna film oh. for like another creator, like um uh, a popular creator. Bro, are you kidding me? What? <laughs> Mr. Beast? Yeah. Wait, what? You guessed it. You guessed you it. You got an opportunity with Mr. Beast? Yes, bro. So they You're want lying. me to do like cinematic work for them because you know they've been killing it with all their like one dollar versus ten million dollar whatever. You that's know, that's insane. One of the people out there reached out to me on my email and they're like, "Yo, bro, I know you work with Rug and stuff, but uh, they just asked me to do." It. I'm like, "Why not, bro? You know what I'm saying?" Like, yeah, I mean that's not? a good opportunity, but it's not like full time, right? It's just like a project or a few projects. They said it could turn something full time, but like obviously, okay. like I'm just gonna. Bro, I respect like you getting an opportunity like that, and like you should definitely go for it. Yeah. But bro, don't let them steal you from me. No, no, obviously not. Come that's on. like that, that's not my goal. But, okay, you know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, like, okay, okay, it's okay. just cool. You know what I'm it's saying? It's sick to, like, as hell. Tap bro, into something me? new. But yeah, bro. They asked me to go out there, film some stuff, and then obviously, bro, like I just want to like just just have fun. You know, have fun. Definitely like do what's best for you and stuff. But bro, I think that's a dope opportunity. No, it's sick. And I think like I don't Wait, know. That's crazy. In my head, like switching things up and doing different stuff all the time is is good for your mental what health what the heck just hit the window <laughs> he goes a bird no was he i don't know that was loud though it was like a, a slap to the <laughs> windshield Yo. bro that was crazy just in general switching up the environment switching yeah. up like what you're doing like if you feel like you're in a routine that is getting tiring and like I don't know, I think it's always good to switch it up and try something new and see what you like, but... Yeah, definitely. I don't know, I, I, I just feel as if, like, something's off. You know what I mean? Like, like something, like, Mentally? is... No, like, like, uh, like, in my real life, like, I feel like my day-to-day -day routine or, like, just kind of being uh, in this environment is, like, you feel something, like, is, like, off. So, like, I'm trying to figure out what it is, so I feel like hopefully that would help. Yeah. I mean, do you like being in San Diego? It's been, like, what, two months now? It's cool. Like, it's just, like, not my hometown in LA, but like, you know, I'm, I'm powering through, I'm powering through. Yeah, of course. If I'm like consistently out here all the time, like it's a good thing, you know, for, for us as, as a friendship, you of know course. what I'm saying? But even when it comes down to that, like I have to figure out if that's important for my next step, like if our friendship is important, you know? What are you talking about? Is our friendship not important? No, it's important. I'm oh, saying like okay. if it's as important uh, to me uh, to continue being out here. Are you considering moving? I was considering like changing it up, but I just didn't know how to like present it to you. You know what I mean? Like I didn't know if I should like, like. Okay, then I think like just be straight up with me. Like, did they yeah. offer you a full time job? And you're you're just going more for like a trial and like, like if you like it? Well, they offered me a few projects because they do want to trial me, so it's not full time. It's like they want to like see what I'm about, see if I'm like a good fit. But it could turn into that. But that's the thing, bro. It's like one of the hardest things. I don't know bro. if it's something I even want to consider because obviously we have so much history our friendship and stuff but that's bro, what i'm trying to we're think just like killing it like currently bro like I yeah feel like we, we both do such big things like oh on your channel huge. my channel and like bro i mean you already know the di dynamic duo yeah like bro we're i mean obviously bro like i'll never pressure you into doing like whatever you don't want of course, of course. Yeah, like yeah. i want to make sure you're good mentally and if that's you going to north carolina forever of course it's gonna hurt it's gonna suck but like bro like i also just want you to like sit back and like and realize like, take in like what we've done together realize like you have family out here too like yeah. in la like i don't know i feel like but bro you're in a good spot right now let's just bang out this video it's gonna be tough but why would you have to drop this bomb right before we film All right, y'all, today is the day everything goes downhill. So to make sure everything goes according to plan, I needed to capture every single angle. Every moment is precious. So what I did is I set up a diversion. I had his mom call him up to go hang out at their house just so I can get him out the way. So as of right now, his car is not in the driveway. We're in the clear. We're good to go. It's time to head inside the rug headquarters, set up all the cameras. Luckily, I set up an entryway so I can safely sneak in. 
Wow, bro is really blessed with this backyard. Every time I come over here, I'm just like in shock. It's crazy how many times I've been compared to Neymar growing up. I stopped playing soccer when I was about 14 years old. Still have the skills though. See that chest? See that chest? Stop playing. And then clean transition to do this. It's really that simple. First shot on the court, easy. Second shot, money. Maybe I'm being too cocky, but it's good to be confident. Let's get to scheming. No cap to fully be here alone is kind of crazy. I'm used to having company, but I just noticed we kind of do. Can we all just appreciate the effort that Rug puts in the holidays? Look at this. My boy's over here with the rose all romantic. Let's give him a smooch on the head for good luck. What am I doing, bro? We gotta focus. We've safely placed all the video recording devices around. Now it's go time. To further prepare myself, I got one last piece of equipment, which was an OG classic that I had used on Rug once before. The iconic GoPro in the jacket method. I went to the store and picked the best one I could find. Even though it was hotter than my toilet after seafood, it was worth it. And with that being said, it led up to the final objective in our mission. Wish me luck. Come on, man, come on. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Our victim. What's good, yes, bro? Sir. How you doing? What's good, brother? Chilling. Yo, how was the trip? Bro, when I tell you it was phenomenal, it was phenomenal. Was it good? It was so fun, bro, so fun. Did you learn a lot? Did you do stuff different? Like, what did you actually end up doing? Everything that I needed to learn about YouTube, I learned. Really? Like, just like the ins and outs, how to film things, like, how a video should actually go, like I kind of have all that knowledge now. Dang, okay. So bro, like it was a very, very like, it was a trip that taught me a lot of life lessons and overall bro, it was just great. Dude, I'm excited to see like the actual work you did. Dude. Did videos come out? Dude, in like three months. I was gonna say like they take so long. Bro, yeah, like they're in production right now and the editors are just starting the cut and the cut needs to be approved like after weeks of weeks of revisions and yeah. stuff. So overall bro, like fun. It was a, it was a good bro, time. I know, bro. It feels like weird to be back already. Like, it felt like it went by fast. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, like, so you made your decision up, like, if you're staying. Bro, listen, things are gonna change, but like, for the better, but in a good way. Like, that benefits okay. both of us. I'll tell you everything a little bit later, but it's gonna be worth the wait. It's like good news. Yeah, it's bro. great news. Okay. We're okay, good. Bro. We're chilling, bro. Dude, okay, well, if you have any knowledge, bro, let me know. Like, yeah, I know. I'm gonna put you on. I'll put Bro, I'm gonna put you on. Um, I think we just run some pool, bro. I haven't played in so long. Dude, I'm down, bro. Let's run it up. Just happy to have you back, bro. I know. Honestly, the flight there was so bad. What is it, like four? Like five, hours? five and a half hours? Dude, I can't do long. Well, I did do a layover, okay. though. Hopefully, the decision you make is a good one, bro. I mean, like, you already know I want you here, like, forever, bro. Like, of course. For our friendship, too, but I mean, like, it's cool that like, you can have a friendship along with like you doing well business-wise. Business yeah. Like, you already know you and I together on cameras. Like, bro, people love us together. Dynamic so duo. Like, I don't know. I mean, can you just tell me now? Like, I, I hate waiting. <laughs> I mean, if you said it's good news, I'm not gonna like trip out about it. But like, I don't want to peer pressure you, but I also like don't want to wait. <laughs> Yo, no, I feel you. I, I think you would tell me like over the phone or like. Dude, something. I wanted to meet up in person just because like I feel as if like when I tell you, you're gonna be like hyped, and I want to see your reaction. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if you still have it in Imagine pool. You're like, All right, sign me for ten years. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Does this have a pool table there or something? Many. He don't just got a pool table. He already one up me, bro. Bro, he has a lot. His whole warehouse includes like pretty much every sport. I've seen a tour of his warehouse. I bro, see. it's huge. And on top of that, bro, it kind of entices me more low key to kind of stay out there because no, no, seriously though, because no, 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 not for the <laughs> pool table. But like, bro, imagine how much content you can make just in his warehouse. And when I was talking to him one on one, bro, he was like really encouraging me. Like, listen, bro, like obviously you you see what we have going on here. Like, you can make content in the warehouse. I already see the potential in you as a person, but. But trust me again, like it's gonna be seamless. Like the the switch that is gonna happen soon. It's talking about switch. It's gonna be perfect. So clearly you're you're no no more well, towards that in a way. But no, it's not gonna be like it's it's not gonna be crazy to the point where it's like oh man like we're not gonna see each other. Like we'll still be able to see each other. 
Yeah, but I mean, you Damn. put me in the worst position. Bro, I'm life. sorry, but dude, it just like sprung up in my life so like fast. And like the fact that it's all happening at once, it's it's even overwhelming for me, bro. And like, to be honest, being on the East Coast, that was a great was, shot. Was it good? Like, yeah. Was East Coast sick? Yeah, bro. Like the weather, I like it a little bit colder. Bro, I'm already wearing a sweater because I'm so I, used I to it. Say, like, you're wearing a sweater back in San Diego. Bro. I was not adjusted back to the weather. Not yet, but yeah, man, like there's so much more nature there. And like, like, just in general, like I was driving past, like on the highways, you just see deer. Oh, that's sick. Everywhere you go. And like, so it's cool. Like no, no, <laughs> no, yeah, for the deer. It's crazy. Okay, okay. deal. Okay. No, deal. Oh. Ooh. Why do I have to wait though? Like, I think that's not fair for me. Because, listen, bro. If yeah, I, because it seems like no, no, I'm not trying to drag it. I'm not trying to drag it. I'm just yeah. saying like, I didn't want to do anything like over the phone or online because I feel like that's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. But in general, like I do want you to trust me that it's it's going to be like a, a decision that it's going to benefit both of us. If I miss this, bro, then like I'll stay with you, I swear. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Fair and square, bro. Good game. All right, well, let me know. I do think we should take it to the living room just because like I want us to like actually sit down and like, you know, have it be official. But um, it's gonna change both of our lives, bro. Are you like a little nervous? I don't know, bro. I don't know what to expect right now. Thank you, bro. Yeah, I got you. So. Just making it serious, like sitting down. No, I mean it has to be like something we sit down and just talk about because I feel like it deserves it after all we've been through. What has it been like? Almost five and a half years, That's bro. So crazy. The fact that it's been that long and we've worked so well together, our friendship has grown tremendously. I have been doing a lot of thinking, especially on the plane ride back, and I was just thinking like where we stand, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like how we are gonna be together even if we're apart. Okay. With that being said, bro, I'm hyped. All right. I'm hyped, no, for both of us. Cause okay, like- so you're staying? No, I'm not staying, but there's gonna be a way that we're still gonna be able to make this work. Before leaving, I had to sit down with Jimmy Okay. Um, everyone who works for Mr. Beast, we were just kind of discussing it because they were just like, you're a valuable asset. You know what I mean? Like they see how much I can improve with them, what I can bring to the table. Basically, they're allowing me to still be able to come over here and work okay. while still doing stuff for them. How often? Listen, it's literally official. So before leaving, I signed the contract. With them? With them. Before like even talking to me about it? Yeah. I see this going in such a great direction. Like, think about it, bro. I'm in contact with the person who is literally crushing on the platform right now. Number so, so one. Do you only care about who's doing good on YouTube? No, well, like, I also value him as a friend. Like, we were able to bond. Like, bro, me and him went to the gym a lot together while I was out there. We got dinner. We were able to just, like, actually be one-on-one -on -one aside from, like, all the content. And, like, we, we discussed so much to the point where I was just like, bro, like, this just makes sense. And how I see it is like me being over there is gonna be good for you. If I'm able to grab some of his fan base, which is pro millions and millions of people, not to say that you don't have that. It's just a wider variety of people that just watch him. You know what I'm saying? All around the world. I don't know if it's like even about that, bro. It's more about like the loyalty and friendship that we have. Like it's not gonna be the same. Like, it's it's not gonna be the same. If you go and then like, I don't even want like knowledge or anything of what you guys are doing there. Like I'm, yeah. I'm very happy with what I'm doing here. And like, I thought you were too, especially cause you moved to San Diego. So yeah. it's like, I thought what we had was gonna keep going. And like, I don't know for as long as we're doing this. Overall, how I see it is we've had a good run. Within the time that I've spent spent here devoting, you know, everything I have to to really make your channel the best. I've been able to gain off of it. Overall, bro, like we had a good thing going. And that's what I'm saying. I'm not here to end it. We already did what we had to do. That's how I see it. Like obviously there's way more we could do, but it's just not to the point where it makes sense for me to stay. You know what I'm saying? Like I got all the connections I got from you. I've been able to gain everything that I need here. Like all the people that I've been able to collab with from you, like the the knowledge you gave me, like other than filming, like Dude, I, I'm, I swear. No, I'm serious. Cause I'm, I'm giving you your flowers right now. Like okay. bro, you were able to help in so many different ways on and off camera, like yeah, yeah. teaching me the ways, like giving me info, how I should do things, being smart with my money. And now that I've seen that quadruple within the past couple years, it just makes sense to keep going in that direction. And if I have the, opportunity of a lifetime. And again, bro, this is gonna be like a one and done. So what I'm saying is I signed it. It's a five year deal. 
but they are gonna let me come out here one to two times a month. So we can still film, that's what I'm saying. Like I'll still be able to come out here. Like yeah. I'll be living there full time and like devoting everything I have to him. But at the same time, it's not like I'm not able to come over let here. Let me ask you this. Okay, one to two times a month. Yeah. You're gonna come out here. Yeah. That's not realistic. You're gonna work so hard there. Yeah. And then like a time comes where like, what? You're saying every two weeks you come back? Yeah. You're not gonna want to every single time consistently. It all happens like all at once and it's super random, but I'm not gonna be the person to stop you from like moving on. And I don't mean that in any bad way. Like I'm trying to say, bro, like you really took me from A to B. As much as I'm valuing the opportunity, also at the same time, bro, it hurts for me to know that we're ending it. And don't think I don't understand how much we still have in us, but at the same time, it doesn't overtake what I can do over there. I just think this is a good thing, because bro, we both can go through some change, you could find a new cameraman. Maybe he will be like the next to me. Like he could be a, <laughs> no, seriously. Like you, right. you never know. Like he could be a YouTuber too. And you guys could like create videos together. You just never know. Like things happen for a reason. It's also because I'm so deep already. Like I already signed everything. Well, yeah, signed I everything. broke the lease to my apartment. You already like, like no. just, no, no. Like just before this, like I had to go break it. Cause I'm not going to be able to pay that. I'm not going to stay here anymore. So there's no point. You know what I mean? So I, I did that again, bro. Think of it this way. I go out there maybe for a couple years. I can always break my contract too over there if, if things don't work out. No, because think about it. Like if I go over there, I'm gonna be known as, oh, like you work with the biggest content creator on the platform. You're still gonna be able to make content for yourself. Yeah, no, they, they allowed that. They're like, yo, you could create your own stuff. Bro, I'm just gonna be honest, like there's not many people that like have done what I've also done for people too. Yeah, no, you know what I mean? for so sure. It's like, it's like, I understand you're grateful for it and I just hope you understand the value. The value, bro. My views are up. I'm making a lot of money. It's like, that's what I see. It's not what you should always see though. No, no, again, like friendship aside, business is what we're talking about. Like, bro, I, I've got everything that I needed. With that being said, if I see myself like, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that, I'm kind of sad right now, things might not be working out, something has to happen. And this is, I guess, what had to happen. I think this is gonna be the best thing that could happen. And I know we had so many talks about bringing the podcast back and all that stuff. And again, like that's, it's just not valuable. I know what I've created here in San Diego for myself, my family, my friends, like like you said. I mean, I'm just saying like, I know my worth. And I'm not trying to put you down no, in I any know, way. No, I'm just saying, but like, so if you just choose to like go somewhere else, like that's totally fine. Like I'm not gonna hold you back. I'm not gonna like, be mad at that, of course. but that's just your choice. Yeah. Like, I don't, like you chose to go there. So it's like, if yeah. things aren't working out in like a few months and stuff, like it's gonna be hard if like you wanna come back. And yeah. Just, like, wait, but like I thought. At that point too, like, would you even want me to come back? Like, I don't know. I need time to just process this. Yeah, so, that makes sense. For you? Yeah, thank you, bro. Yes, sir. It was a hard thing to like, just get off my chest. Good luck with, with the future. Like, we're still gonna talk and stuff. I'll like, text you when I have time, of course. <laughs> You're crazy. I'm gonna step outside for a little bit. Okay. All right. Yo. Yo. Where you at? Listen, bro. I don't want to like end anything in like bad terms. Oh, it's not on bad terms. You're still my boy. Yeah. But like, I just feel like really, like I feel sorry. You know, I have a lot of like remorse that it's like now that it's official. I'm also thinking on the flip side, like how much it actually might affect me too. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like overall, I think like now considering that like now I made the full move, it's like it's happening. I feel like that should have been taken into consideration before you like signed anything though. Not that I wasn't like confident in my decision. It's just that now that it's actually coming to life, like it's crazy, bro. Cause like, I'm not gonna be in this backyard anymore. I'm not gonna see you anymore, your family. If you think that's the right choice you're making, then that's what you make your mind up. And For sure. That's I just, how it is. Again, I'm happy with what's happening. I just uh, hope that it makes more sense in the future that this, happen i have no idea what's gonna happen i mean i know on like the youtube side i'm chilling i've started this 11 years ago i'm chilling on the youtube side i'm yeah. more like as just like a friendship but like if you are coming back once a month i mean bro think about people that are best friends in high school and then like they go to different colleges in different states like yeah kind of like the same it's, thing yeah just so, in a different world it sucks you just gotta deal with it if that's like where you think business makes the most sense in north carolina with mr beast then sh bro like go for it if you already signed the contract like it's official official can you not go back on it with how much they've expanded like as a corporation and as a company bro 
they're gonna be worth over a billion dollars. So in my mind, it's like, if someone signs something with them, they're not gonna be like, oh yeah, you're good to go. Even if you don't want to, cause I'm gonna be honest right now, I'm like backtracking. I'm like, bro, like, is this really right for me? Like, I don't know if I'm gonna have to see a therapist after this, like, or even need need help so to, why to you, why didn't you think about that before i just didn't cross my mind how much it would actually like affect me i think what we might have to do is like i'll go out there again and you know at least put in a month or two of effort and see like even if it might hurt me to go back and realize that i've caused so much damage out here i already signed it as a man you know i'm not going to go back on my word i'm gonna commit because i made this happen so i think that's what's gonna have to happen i did bring like my um two weeks you're still gonna do two weeks i'll do two like, weeks why, left bro why are you making it so professional just because like dude, you're so annoying you're actually ah! you're so crazy hey hey you're crazy. Nah, bro I believed you? You did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Come on, bro. bro I did. seen the pain in your eyes. So bro, you of all people yes, should I know. Nah, no, you of all people should know. Come on, bro. We're not done. Yo, bro, you're so annoying. We're not done. Okay. Come, Wait, so come on, bro. So did you actually go to North Carolina or you I literally just took two weeks off. <laughs> come on, bro. I took a vacation. Your Yo, boy needed up. it. Hold up, he actually took pranking to a new level. He took two weeks off. Just so I could do this. Wait, am I stupid? Like, did I not ask about, like, a pictures at the Mr. Beast warehouse? Bro, like, I didn't send him a single thing, and he's like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. I'm not gonna lie, there was times where I didn't believe it, but then, like, <laughs> I did believe it. It was just like a roller coaster. Bro, I actually feel so bad for like what I put you through because I could just tell in your heart that it was like painful. Worst predicament you could put anyone in. Bro, like, hey, hey, to be honest though, I think it's deserved. You put me through a lot, but you did surprise me with a car after. So maybe it's not as. <laughs> what, what's my surprise now? I'm here. Hey, I'm here. I'm okay, here. Okay, okay. Come That's on. More than anything. Bro, I feel like Let's you're go. not going to sleep tonight knowing that this happened, but hopefully you can. So you're like, you're still here? You're chilling? No, I'm quitting. Okay. Like this is a prank, but then realistically. You reverse the re prank? It's a Uno reverse card. So. I like it. Get the f out of my <laughs> Hey, I love you, bro. Yeah, I love hey, you, brother. I do have to say too, I will never, never leave this guy but at the same time like bro we whoa, built whoa, who's to say that like i'm not gonna like fire you soon listen man <laughs> let me take the mic out you're so annoying and, you and had the mic the whole time. let me just say though let me just say because i i do have to get this out i just want to say before we close this out you've been my best friend for five years you've been the utmost respectful humble just great person to me Damn. and my family and we're gonna continue this till the wheels fall off i hope you guys enjoyed i love you guys so much and i uh i'll be back <laughs>